Ministers, uh, Secretary General, uh, Ambassadors, uh, Admirals, Generals, ladies and gentlemen. I'm also honored and pleased uh, to be here today in Saragossa to witness uh, the land uh, part of uh, the uh, uh, exercise strategy in Junction 2015. On behalf of NATO uh, Military Committee, I would like to uh, thank Spain uh, for uh, co-hosting uh, this uh, uh, very important NATO exercise, uh, uh, biggest uh, in more than uh, one decade, decade. and for uh, Spain's uh, uh, continuous uh, commitments uh, to uh, NATO operations and missions. I'm uh, grateful uh, for uh, Spain and Spanish effort to accommodate all other uh, requirements of uh, nations uh, contributing with uh, troops to this exercise, for preparing uh, your training facilities and exercise ranges, and for hosting all of us uh, here today. I understand that it was not easy uh, to build these facilities, uh, sometimes even rebuild, like uh, this tribune. Uh, and I also uh, recognize that it was not easy to uh, manage um, the public uh, perceptions of the exercise after such a long time. I would also like to thank uh, all NATO staffs uh, with uh, uh, their hard work uh, behind this exercise. Uh, Allied Command uh, Operations and uh, General Philip Breedlove, uh, Allied Command uh, Transformation and General Denis Mercier. Also uh, Joint Forces Command Brunsum uh, and General Hans Lothar de Merze. And uh, I would like uh, not to forget uh, and acknowledge the role of um, Allied Land Command, commanded by Lieutenant General John Nicholson. Uh, for putting up uh, together this uh, excellent training opportunity. During the exercise, we are testing uh, the enhanced NRF, the VJTF, and many new concepts and procedures. Such large-scale training events uh, that we are observing here today are essential for our modern uh, alliance. And aside from practical training, exercising and execution of uh, Trading Junction 2015, important lessons are being identified and learned. While NATO nations uh, have some of the most highly trained forces uh, in the world, it is precisely and perhaps uh, controversially during these types of exercises that we want all of the deficiencies to be observed, documented, and especially analyzed and corrected. We want to find out uh, what uh, could be improved, what needs to be changed, uh, what did uh, not work and why, so uh, that when a threat occurs or a crisis erupts, uh, our, uh, the alliance commits uh, to an operation or a mission, NATO and partner nations are, and organizations are well prepared to face any threat or crisis uh, coming from any direction. Thank you.